Today I'm going to be showing you a completely useless trick that I learned because I'm really bored. And this is simply how to fork bomb a Windows 10 computer in probably the simplest way that exists. I say Windows 10 because it only works on Windows 10. Linux is a little more complex method, and by complex I mean just pasting a slightly longer command. But this one's incredibly easy, it takes 5 seconds to set up and 5 seconds to basically wreck someone's computer. Note, this does not do any permanent damage to your computer, but it will make it unusable until it either crashes or you shut it down. So in case you don't know what a fork bomb is, it's basically a process that branches out to other processes that takes up so much memory and uh, computing power that your computer eventually just can't be usable. So how you do this is you want to make a new text document. It doesn't matter the name, because you're not going to use the text document, and there's only five characters you want to put in. Five. Percent zero this thing which is like a upward slash i don't really know what they're called but they're referred to as pipes in coding present zero that's it and what this says is present zero which is the process that is starting percent zero which is in this case the text document because there is no process yet will uh, pipe out to another one creating a clone and that clone will just keep creating clones because this is the exact process itself so from here you want to save as, want to go ahead and set it to all files, name it whatever you want, in this case I'm going to name mine fork bomb, but the important part is to do dot bat, dot bat, so it's a bat file, a batch file specifically, and there it is. So before I do this, uh, there is a way to kill this uh, before it gets too bad, you have to enter it in command prompt, which uh, my computer is higher end so I might have a little more time. But typically this will start slowing your computer down in about 5 seconds. Mine is a pretty well handling CPU and 16 gigabytes of RAM, so I have a little more than that to actually use my system. I'm going to go ahead and actually put on the task manager just so you can see my usage right now. Uh, not too high, pretty slim, just idling around. I'm going to go ahead and go to processes and keep this on the side. So right now, this is what everything's running at. Not too many processes, nothing much. Not much faster than its normal stuff. As soon as I click fork bomb, that will all change. So I have the command pasted. Before I actually do it, I'm just going to show you what it does, or what the command is and how to do it. Uh, you can do this on either command prompt or uh, Windows PowerShell, though PowerShell is a different command. So in command prompt, it looks like task kill im. Inside the quotes is the name of the, pro uh, the task or the process, which, uh, by the way, is not what you named this. I learned that the first time. It's actually uh, what the uh, task is itself. In this case, this opens command prompt in its own window, and so it's just simply cmd.exe. cmd, uh, not cmd, my bad. cmd.exe, and then uh, slash f is for force it to close. So it's going to kill everything like that. So if I did this, it just ends that process. So without further ado, let's start fork bombing our computer. So it just looks like this and it just creates new ones. If you want to close this now, up oh, too late, you can't. And now if we go to this, the amount of processes is steadily climbing, and by steadily I mean absolutely quickly climbing. Uh, utilization of CPU is already at 90%. Speed is higher than I thought this computer could work. Uh, it, it's created some graphical issues. Memory is steadily climbing as well. So before the system gets too bad, I'm gonna go ahead and end it. But what happens usually is that it just freezes. You can't do anything. You can't even close it like this. You can't even power it off like this. You just have to press the physical power button. So I'm gonna go ahead and launch at this. And I'm just gonna quickly, as quickly as I can, fill in cmd.exe, enter. And with luck, if you're quick enough, it's going to be killing all these processes, though the amount of uh, the processes is still trying to climb, so it takes some time. As you can see, the process count is going down. Eventually, it's trying to process when it can't, and so it kind of sticks at a low amount of process. It's trying to work. It's creating processes again. You don't have long to close it. Now I can just repeat that same thing I just did. It just puts it down into low amount of tasks for a very short amount of time. So as you can see, it's climbing again. Yeah, this is very small and yet very powerful. I'm going to go ahead and do this again while I have the chance. And as soon as I can, I'm just going to go ahead and launch that command again. So uh, 
or you can either launch it again and just keep launching it as the processes get smaller, or you can try to close it. In this case, exiting out is not working. Okay, but I Alt F4 to quick enough while it was trying to load back up all the commands or all the processes, and as you can see, it's back to normal. So you don't have much time. I uh, didn't hesitate and I went right away, but if you wait any longer than that, especially on a lower-end computer, you're screwed. Your, your computer is done for. Again, until you restart, once you restart, it'll be back to normal. This is just, you know, a temporary thing to screw, screw around with your friends. But I hope you learned something. And that is, uh, don't fork bomb your computer. Uh, luckily, I wasn't scared because I did this before, and again, it doesn't do any damage. But the process count will pretty quickly rise, so you want to kill, and then you want to actually Alt F4 quick enough, because you can't Alt F4 or press the X button on anything once the fork bomb has been going for more than like five seconds. So you want to kill all the commands, uh, processes, and just close it in any way you can. That's the only way to stop it, and you got to be quick, because uh, as soon as things start to lag, as soon as clicking, you know, like around like this, or entering the start menu lags, you, you're done for. You can't do anything. So yeah, that was that. Thanks for watching.